Welcome back everybody. Right, today I'm cooking one of my favourite dishes. It's a traditional Greek moussaka made with lamb and potatoes and aubergines. So let's have a run through of our ingredients. Obviously our minced lamb. I've got the 20% fat, I think it's got more flavour. So I've got a kilo of minced lamb. I've got three lovely aubergines there. Medium size, not too small. I've got three large Maris Piper potatoes. That's, that comes to about a kilo. You can use medium size and just add some more, but about a kilo of potatoes. Um, I've got a tin of plum tomatoes, which I've crushed down. I've got 250 ml of red wine, decent quality red wine. Tomato puree, we're gonna need two tablespoons. I've got a large white onion, four good sized cloves of garlic, two or three bay leaves, one red chili. I've got four good table, uh, teaspoons of oregano, dried oregano, two teaspoons of dried cinnamon, ground cinnamon, a teaspoon of sugar, I've obviously got sea salt and black pepper, and very important, extra virgin olive oil. Now that's for our moussaka. Then on top of that will be our bechamel sauce. So we need about 500 ml of whole milk, so that's the full fat milk. I've got two large eggs, one of them we just need the yolk. So one full egg and one yolk. Over here I've got 50 grams of plain flour, which I've weighed out. I've also got 50 grams of Parmesan cheese. I've got 50 grams of unsalted butter. And I've got a whole nutmeg, which we're gonna grate into our bechamel sauce. So 50, 50, 50 on that. And I'm gonna be serving it with a side dish of a lovely Greek salad. You obviously need your feta cheese. I've got the barrel aged feta here. It's got a bit more flavor to it. I've got some lovely Greek Kalamata olives, stone in. I've got cucumber, I've got a small red onion. I've got some lovely cherry tomatoes there on the vine. And oregano for sprinkling over. And then you, you have to drizzle some extra virgin olive oil over that. But we're not gonna do that until our moussaka's in the oven cooking. It's gonna be a lot of mess here, so you need a frying pan for frying off your aubergine slices and your mince and your onion and everything. Then you're gonna have a saucepan to put it all in to slowly simmer it. You need a saucepan to part boil your potatoes. You need another saucepan for your bechamel sauce and a deep roasting tin for your moussaka when it goes in the oven. And also you're gonna need some uh, kitchen paper, kitchen towel to lay your aubergine on. So, there's our list of ingredients. It's quite a lot to do. A bit time consuming with the aubergine, but it's well worth it in the end. So let's get cooking then. Okay, my aubergines, I've washed them already. And I'm now gonna slice them into slices about that thick. We, we wanna go about half a centimeter, five millimeters, something like that. Now, depending on the size of your frying pan, you don't want to cut it all up straight away because you're not going to fit them in. And we're going to have to fry these off in batches. So that's probably about it. Now I've got the heat under here. Extra virgin olive oil. Now these are like little sponges. They're going to soak up loads of olive oil. So lay them around, as many as you can fit in. I might cut one or two more up, because I've got a bit more space. And what you want to do, you want to season them. There we go. Because this is going to take a while. You're going to have to do this in batches. Okay. So sea salt, make sure you all get a bit of sea salt. We have to do this every batch and then when they're done we're going to lay them on a plate on kitchen paper and then put kitchen paper over the top for the next batch and so on until they're all done. As you can see that olive oil has now disappeared so we're going to go in a little bit more. I know this looks really unhealthy and fattening, 
but this is the traditional Greek way to do it. You can bake these in the oven, but that's not the traditional way. And this way you'll have more flavour. I like doing it this way. So, you know, you want to... Not done yet. You want them sort of golden brown. So, I'll come back to you when I've got them, how I like them. And I'll show you. So, yeah, as you can see, that one's about perfect. So that's how you want them. Just like that. We're going to just lay those on our kitchen paper and then when that's covered we're going to put more kitchen paper on the top and we're just going to leave them there until we need them when they're cooked so i've still got quite a few more to get through so i'm going to get on with that and i'll see you when i'm done okay it's taken a while but i finally got to the end of my aubergines so the last couple of bits there so i've got four layers of aubergines sandwiched in with paper towel. Now I'm just going to cover those over. I'm going to put them to one side until we start assembling our moussaka. So, back to the pan. Some extra virgin olive oil. I've diced my onion. I'm going straight in with my large diced white onion. Now I'm going to fry that gently for about eight to ten minutes. You don't want to brown it, you just want to soften it, translucent, get it nice and soft. And then gradually we're going to add our ingredients to the saucepan and then get everything in there for the sauce. So about 8 to 10 minutes, I'm going to get on with that. So, our onions have had about 8 to 10 minutes. I'm now going to put them in this saucepan. We're going to just add our ingredients for this meaty sauce bit by bit if you you can do it a different way if you like but this is the way I do it so I get the onions in first and I'll leave that on a small burner on a very low heat it's not gonna fry it's just gonna keep it warm just to keep it warm I'm gonna go straight in with my finely diced garlic which I did while my onions were cooking That's four good sized cloves of garlic, finely diced. We're going to go in there, more extra virgin olive oil. And then we're going to fry these gently for a few minutes, just until they're starting to turn golden. And that's it, don't burn them. Okay? All right, so that's our garlic. It's starting to stick to the wooden spoon. That's when you know it's ready. Start just starting to turn golden. I'm now gonna add that. Don't worry about the oil, it's all extra virgin olive oil. That's all good stuff. That's gonna go in with our onion. And back over here. Shouldn't need to add any oil with this because the fat content of the meat should release its own oil. So that is our lamb, 20% fat lamb mince. Get it on a nice high heat and you want to break it all up, press it down, break it all up small and you want to fry this until it's browning. If any water comes out keep drying it. You want it sort of seared so that's going to take a little while and obviously I've got another packet to do, so two batches of meat. Right, so that is our second batch of minced lamb, as you can see. Nice bit of sear on it. That's done. I've already got one batch in the saucepan already. I'm going to transfer that to my front burner. I'm going to get this in. Try not to spill any. Right, so that's our minced lamb, our onion, and our garlic. That's all in there. Now, mix it all together. We're going to go straight in with our bay leaves and our oregano. 
in that goes. And our cinnamon. In we go with that. Give it a good mix around. 30 seconds or so. Get it all nicely coated. And then we're going to add our red wine. I can smell of cinnamon in there now. Right, so 250ml of red wine. Same as what you'll be drinking with the mill. In that goes. Turn up the heat slightly. Now you want to reduce this down by about half. So get it on a moderate heat, bubbling away for a few minutes until half of the wine disappears. So I'm just going to carry on until that happens. So as you can see, the wine is cooked down, said about three or four minutes. I'm making a well in the middle and I'm going to put my tomato puree in, puree in there to tablespoons of tomato puree. So I'll put it in the middle so it can cook out a little bit. Get it nice nice and hot. Let that cook out, fry out for a few seconds. And then mix it all in together with everything. While the wine was cooking down, I cut up my chili. There's my one red chilli, don't worry, it won't make it really spicy or anything, it'll just be in the background. Right, now we're going to go in with our tin of plum tomatoes, which I crushed up a little bit with a potato masher. So we're going to mix that round. Give that a good mix. And then, this is very important, you need 200 ml of water. So get the heat back up. 200 ml of water, in it goes. So you bring it up to the boil and then I'm going to stick it on the back burner on a very low heat and you want to cook this very gently for about 45 minutes, stirring it all the time. So let it stick, keep stirring it, 45 minutes on a very low heat. Okay. So I spin to the boil and I've simmered it back down again. I'm going to go in with my teaspoon of sugar. A couple of good pinches of sea salt. We can check it for seasoning at the end. And then a good grind of black pepper. So we'll check it near the end, but this is going to simmer for about 45 minutes now. A nice bit of black pepper in there. Stir it up. And then we're going to get on with preparing our potatoes. So just let that cook away. So I've peeled one of my potatoes. I've got some cold water in a saucepan there, about a third of the way up. And then I'm gonna start slicing these, similar thickness to, well, maybe slightly thicker than you cut the aubergines, a little bit thicker, because you don't want them to fall apart. So sort of, that thickness just over half a centimeter I'd say so we're going to slice those up and we're going to put them in the cold water then we're going to give them a rinse get rid of the starch and then we're going to pulp boil them so I'm going to carry on with the other two I'll see you in a minute so those are my potatoes rinsed sliced ready to cook I'm going with a few good pinches of sea salt in there and I've got a kettle full of boiling water here that I've just boiled up, Let's get full heat under there 
pour your water in. Make sure you completely cover the potatoes. Now you want to bring these to the boil and turn them down a little bit. Don't forget to keep stirring your meat mixture over there. That's gradually getting slightly thicker. It's had about 20 minutes so far, so another 25 minutes for that. In the meantime, we're going to bring these to the boil and then turn them down slightly. So a gentle boil for about five minutes. You don't want them to break up. You just want to soften them slightly. So about five minutes on a gentle boil. And then we're going to drain them off. So I'm just going to bring them up to the boil now. So our potatoes have been bubbling away like that for five minutes. I'm going to turn them off. We're going to drain them into a colander. And there, I'm going to give you one little shot of cold water just quickly just to stop them cooking or overcooking and getting too soft because they're going to be sitting there now while we make our bechamel sauce. So, I'm going to get my ingredients ready for that. Okay, right, we're now going to make our bechamel sauce. Let's give our meat another stir. So, we've got our milk, we've grated the parmesan cheese 50 grams of parmesan, there's our 50 grams of flour. 50 grams of butter, there's one large egg, and there's the other large egg. I'm just gonna scoop that yolk. You can do this any way you want. We just want the yolk in there. So that's one whole egg and one egg yolk. That's the white, you can do what you want with that. I'm gonna rinse my hands off and start making it. So now I'm gonna go straight in with my butter which is at room temperature. We're gonna melt that down. Once that's melted, we're gonna add our flour. So give that a few seconds to melt. And there's our melted butter. I'm gonna go in with all the flour. We're gonna mix that round, keep it on a low heat. You make it like a paste, a roux. Make a nice smooth paste. And once we've got that nice and smooth, now this is where we add our milk a bit at a time. So don't just pour it all straight in. You want to go in a good splash like that and then get that smooth. Keep it on a low heat, get that nice and smooth and add a bit more and add a bit more and we're going to start whisking it now I'm going to add some more milk another good splash now the more milk you put in just increase the heat slightly so now I'm going to keep whisking that and then when all the flowers mixed in then you add some more milk and you just keep doing that keep whisking it and get it up to a gentle simmer till it's bubbling at the end I'm just going to carry on whisking that and adding my milk till all the milk is in there bring it up to a gentle simmer and you want to simmer it for about three minutes and then take it off the heat and then we'll add our parmesan and our egg and our nutmeg so I'm just going to come in with that. Right, so as you can see, it's been bubbling away like that for about three minutes. And I've been whisking it all the time. Gently bubbling away. It's thickened up. All the milk went in. Now what you want to do, turn the gas off under there. Leave it for a minute. Go over to your eggs. Give them a little light whisk. Like that. They're all blended together. The white and your two yolks. Right, so there's a lightly beaten egg. Don't forget to stir your meat. 
in a couple of minutes that needs stirring that's almost had 45 minutes over there so now what I'm going to do this is off the heat I'm going straight in with my 50 grams of finely grated Parmesan cheese now you want to whisk that in Smells good. That's melted straight in. Then straight in with the egg. So one whole large egg and one egg yolk. In it goes. Mix that in gently. And then last but not least, I'm going to grate about two thirds of this nutmeg. As you can see, it's going in. So I'm going to do two thirds of that and then that is our bechamel sauce done. A bit of salt and pepper as well, that's it. Okay, so first things first, make sure your oven's on at 180 degrees, ready to go. We're going to start assembling our moussaka. We've got our bechamel sauce, our aubergines that we fried earlier, and our lovely lamb mince sauce. Smells amazing. So firstly, you want to take about a third of this, not half, just about a third. Just about that. Spread it all around your tin. So that's about a third, maybe a touch more. There we go. Right, that's about a third of that. Then we're going to start layering it up. This is the fun bit. You can get your kids to do this. So you want to use half of your aubergines so I've got four layers of aubergines here so look see that paper has soaked up a lot of the oil so it's healthy now it's all good for you all good ingredients so half of our aubergines doesn't matter if they overlap a little bit So that is half of our aubergines. And then our potatoes. So as you can see, I'm going over with a layer of potatoes and then I'm gonna put the meat on again. So I'm just gonna carry on with that. I'll get back to you in a minute. So we've got the meat, the aubergine, the potato. Now we wanna go on, spread it all around the remaining meat should be about two thirds left. So a bit more than you put on the bottom layer. Spread that all over. And then I'm gonna do aubergines again, the rest of the aubergines and the rest of the potatoes. And then we'll be topping it off with our bechamel sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Right, so as you can see, I've done my second layer of meat aubergine and potato it's just the right amount now my bechamel sauce you want to layer this all over so it's completely covered spread it around use a palette knife if you like or the back of the spoon just get a good even coat in so i'm just going to carry on and put that over uh, before we put it in the oven so there that is our final moussaka a nice coating of bechamel sauce over the top, all gooey. Now it's going to go in the oven, 180 degrees, for 45 minutes. It's middle shelf, in it goes. 45 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to have a clear up and I'm going to start preparing my Greek salad, which is quite easy. So, okay. Okay, so my moussaka 
is cooking nicely in the oven, I'm now going to prepare my ingredients for my Greek salad. I've already diced up my barrel aged feta cheese. There's my Kalamata olives. I've cut my onion in half, right down the middle, and I've peeled it. Now, you can cut this any way you like, but I like to just cut it once like that, and then thinly slice it like this. You put it in a bowl and just break it up so you get your little strands like that. So that's how we're going to do our onion. For the cucumber, cut it in half, take the end off, cut it down the middle, cut it down the middle again, there you got that, and then I'm just going to cut it into chunks. Like that. So that's our cucumber. And our cherry tomatoes, I'm just going to halve right down the middle like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and prepare all that. And this is going to serve six people. So there'll be plenty of salad and plenty of moussaka. It's going to be a lovely feast. Okay, we're almost there. So there is my diced up feta cheese my Kalamata olives, my onion, my red onion cut into little strips, my beautiful vine cherry tomatoes cut in half, and my cucumber cut into little quarters like that. My moussaka's got about 10 minutes left in the oven. I'm gonna start assembling my Greek salads because I'm cooking for four today. So I've got extra virgin olive oil, oregano, sea salt and black pepper to finish off these Greek salads. So I'm gonna start plating those up before I get my moussaka out of the oven. So there you go. Okay, so there's our first little mini Greek salad. I'm gonna put a little pinch of sea salt over the top. Little grind of black pepper. A nice sprinkle of dried oregano. And last but not least, a good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. So there we go, beautiful Greek salad. I'm now gonna get my moussaka out of the oven and we're gonna plate up. Okay, so here we go. Our moussaka, look at that. That's had a good 45 minutes in the oven on 180. I'm going to let it sit there for five minutes before I cut it up and plate up. So that does smell good. So see you in a minute. And there we have it everyone. Beautiful Greek lamb moussaka. That smells lovely. And a nice little Greek salad on the side. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be serving this. Well, <laughs> I'm going to take the lid off first. With an old vine ganache from Spain. Goes nice with Mediterranean dishes. There we have it. Greek moussaka and a lovely Greek salad. Can't wait to tuck in. Hope you enjoy it. See you on the next one, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.